Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through again a programmable logic controllers. This time timers and timing functions used in PLCs. So this is regarding the PLC programming in which we are going to incorporate the timers. So we will go through the timers in detail in this video. So let's start with the timers in and timing functions in PLC. Okay, so mechanical and electronic timers. So prior to the introduction of programmable logic controllers in the late 1960s, timing functions were implemented by the use of variety of timers. Uh, those included the following, that is dashboard for pneumatic and hydraulic circuits, then synchronous clocks, motor driven timers, capacitor time limit relays and electronic that is solid state. So these were different types of timers incorporated prior to the introduction of PLCs. Then PLCs were introduced in the industries and then uh, according to the software used there are timers also included. So PLC timers an advantage of PLC is that timing functions can be programmed eliminating the need of external timers. So we don't need to have an external timer uh, in the automation circuit, uh, we can directly implement the timers in software itself. Uh, it is uh, the main advantage of timers here in the PLC programs. All timing functions can be duplicated in a PLC. So uh, that is that means uh, we can directly uh, prepare a program only uh, by using the timers. Uh, we don't need to have a physical timer available. So by just changing in the program, we can uh, give the timing to the program to be executed. So the different definitions for a PLC timer, mainly the timer, it identifies the timer and the location of the timer information. File type T4 followed by the timer number, which can be value from 0 to 99. So we can use number of timers in the program so here from 0 to 99 that is total 100 timers can be used in a single program so timer identifies the type of function that is to be used and t4 is the particular input output file available in the timer program so we need to uh, designate the timer as given as an example of t4 colon 6 that means uh, this is the timer and the sixth timers number six timer is there so we can go from t4 colon 0 to t4 colon 99 total 100 timers can be implemented then time base so while defining the timer we need to go for these different values time base reset accumulator okay we will go through the uh, program later uh, the time base that is the duration of time base interval that time is incremented in in seconds it can be 0.1 or 0.01 uh, so a value of 100 would be equal to 10 seconds with a time base of 0.1 or 1 second with a time base of 0.01. See if you are going to uh, give the value of 100 and if you choose the time base 0.1 it will give us 100 into 0.1 that is 10 seconds and if you give 100 value with the 0.01 time base so it will become 1 second. Okay, So time base into preset will be the total delay and preset it determines the amount of time that must pass to activate done bit expressed in units of the time base okay so preset will be total uh, value of delay which we needed according to the uh, chosen time base so the value of 100 which is uh, explained in the time base was the value of preset in the given example so when we choose time base as 0.1 and preset as 100 the total delay will be 100 into 0.1 that is 10 seconds delay will be there in a function of a system. Keep in mind time base you can choose 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or 1 and preset you can choose any value and the time base into preset will give you the total delay of seconds. Then accumulator which is defined as accum while the timer is timing in its timing mode that is timing function is activated the accumulator increments in units of the time base so whatever time base is chosen accordingly uh, the accumulator will be incremented till the done bit 
arrives then there are three bits that is enable bit en then bit dn and timer timing bit that is tt so when uh, enable bit is true then timer input is true then done bit it true when the accumulated time equals to the preset time so uh, the accumulated time will be equal to given delay then done bit is activated or it becomes true then timer ticking bit that is true while the accumulator is incrementing so from 0 to uh, from en to dn the tt bit will be activated okay uh, these are the uh, different functions which we need to define a timer so let's go through the different types of timer the first type is on delay timer it is uh, mentioned in program as ton that is timer on delay okay so in this window you can see here how the timer is defined so uh, timer on delay actually it counts the time based intervals when the inst instruction is true that is see here what happens how we are going to define first okay we will go through the different uh, definitions which we have seen now so here it is ton so it is called as a timer on delay here it is mentioned timer on delay then timer we have gone through this this is the uh, timer function called and here is the uh, uh, specification of the timer so t4 colon 1 so it is the uh, second timer that is first will be 0 and then second timer t4 colon 1 will be there then time base given here is 0.1 preset given is 100 so total delay required here is 0.1 into 100 that is 10 seconds delay required in this example and accumulator at the start accumulator will be 0 and it will be get incremented by 1.1 uh, uh, once the timer starts that is uh, enable bit is true then uh, it will count up to 100 accumulator will count up to 100 and then the done bit will be activated so as the input gets true the timer will be switched on and enable bit will be true uh, till the preset value uh, and accumulator value be becomes equal and then done bit is activated and the timer function will be completed and next operation will be accordingly carried out so when the timer input is activated there is a delay equal to the preset time before the done bit that is dn changes from 0 to 1 that is when dn is true the accumulated time equal to the preset time when the time timer input is deactivated the done bit changes back to 0 so when we are going to again switch off this input here which is given to this on delay timer again the accumulator will become 0 and done will be deactivated and enable also will be deactivated so this is on delay timer again uh, we will go through the different conditions here on delay when the timer coil is energized there is a delay before the contacts change position the contacts remain in the changed position until the timer coil is de-energized at which time the contacts return to the normal position immediately so here is the uh, program shown so what happens when this switch one is closed uh, here then the this rung will become true and this timer will get enabled okay and suppose it has 10 seconds delay then what happens after uh, the 10 seconds delay the done bit of this timer will get activated and which is given as an input here so this is normally open type switch so what happens here after done bit is completed that is after timing uh, delay is completed this switch is going to get closed and the output a is going to get functionalized or started at the same time this is uh, the nc type switch so till the timing timer is on or counting this will be in deactivated condition so the input b is on for that period as it is the nc, NC type switch once the timer done bit is activated this switch is going to close and this switch is going to open as it is nc switch and so what happens here this which is closes a output starts at the same time this which gets open and b output get closed okay so just recall what ha what is happening here so normally open uh, timed timed closed is mentioned by this symbol and normally closed timed open will be 
used by this symbol okay the next type of timer that is tof that is timer of delay this counts time based intervals when the instruction is false okay so again this is uh, timer definition will be the same just the difference is here tof timer of delay timer again we are going to mention by the same name time base preset accumulator will be again same enabled then all will be same only the functioning will be different what is going to happen when we are going to close this switch available here it will directly give us the enable on then when the switch here input switch here is going to get into zero position that is it's going to open or it will give, give you false value at that time only this timer will get started okay so once we are going to switch off the input of this timer then and then only this timer will start running and once the done bit is activated whatever connected with the done bit is going to get closed as the instruction is false okay when the timer input is activated the done bit changes from 0 to 1 immediately so see keep in mind when this is going to activate it the done bit will be activated at the same time when the timer input is deactivated the accumulator begins incrementing so as we are going to uh, switch so here there will be some input switch at this point so when we are going to close this switch the done bit is going to get activated at the same time enable bit also going to get activated but as this switch is opened that is now circuit is open at that time the accumulator will start after switching this after de switching this input okay then what is going to happen when the timer input is deactivated the accumulator begins incrementing and the, there is a delay equal to the preset time before the done bit changes back to zero and the done bit true there is true until the accumulated time equals to preset time and after the done bit gets zero the output will be off so timer off delay now here again uh, we will go through the program when the timer coil is energized the coil contracts change position immediately and they remain in the changed position when the timer coil is de-energized there is a delay before the contacts return to the normal position so here again different symbolic representation is shown when we are going to switch close this switch the timer will not start as it is off delay timer but the run becomes true once this switch is open then this timer will start okay and once this time a uh, switch is closed so this will be enabled so directly uh, this will be closed this will be de-energized but when this switch is going to get opened again this will be uh, timing or uh, timing will be starting accumulator will start uh, incrementing and once the done bit is deactivated so again this will be close uh, open and this will be closed so after switching off the circuit after delay of some time the a output will get closed and b output, output will be get on so that is off delay timer then the third type is rto that is retentive type of timer what is the difference between ton top and rto is ton and top if the uh, on delay timer and off delay timer uh, if we uh, change the input from 1 to 0 immediately what happens and again 0 to 1 the timer will reset automatically before uh, the accumulator uh, will equal to the preset value but if we want the timing uh, to be uh, stopped there only where we need to uh, where the output has become uh, sorry input has become 0 that is if suppose there is a power failure in between of the Running, running of the program so the timing has count somewhere and as the power failure turn and off will get reset and when power comes again back so it will start again counting timing from zero that is start so uh, if we need that time to be 
count where it has stopped we need to go for return to timer so it counts time based interval when the instruction is true and remains accumulated value when the instruction goes false and when power cycle occurs again it will uh, start uh, calculating but here only the difference is we need to add a reset key so rto is an on delay on de it is a type of on delay timer that remains its accumulated value if the input is deactivated while it is incrementing and then begins timing again at the same point once the input is reactivated the reset instruction resets the accumulated value to the zero so here again rto return to timer so here it is only rto all other things are same when we are going to uh, so input switch will be here when we are going to uh, close this switch the return to timer will be get on as like ton timer and suppose uh, so accumulator will start incrementing from 0 to 100 suppose uh, this switch is again opened that is uh, circuit is open what is going to happen so accumulator will start uh, stop incrementing and whatever the value will be there it will be stored in case of turn what, what is going to happen accumulator will again become zero so it will be resetted automatically when uh, input is off okay so once i switch on the input timer will switch on uh, accumulating starts but again if i switch uh, open the switch uh, turn will uh, be again reset but rto will just stop where the accumulator value is there so suppose after uh, counting of 20 uh, if i open this switch it will again stop at 20 only and when uh, again i will close this switch it will count from 20 onwards okay so that is the difference between rto and uh, ton okay the next timing function is uh, again uh, cascading of timers uh, what is done here is we can incorporate number of timers in a single program so in cascading of timer what is going to happen we are going to use diff, uh, number of timers and uh, one by one we can uh, give instructions so after the completion of uh, uh, delay of first timer the second timer is going to get on and after the completion of delay of second timer third time timer is going to switch on so that is called as cascading so cascading timers the done bit of one timer activates the input of the another timer so multiple timers can be used in a cascade so here you can see there are two timers t4 colon 1 and t4 colon 2 so this is the first timer as uh, the switch input switch is uh, closed this timer is going to switch on accumulator will start incrementing up to 100 and then done bit is going to active and the reference of done bit of uh, first timer is given as the input to the uh, second timer so as this timer uh, completes its delay the second timer gets on again it will increment 0 to 100 and then done bits get activated this reference of done bit can be given to the third third timer and it is called as a cascading of timers in a single program a self resetting cascade can be also created by adding and uh, normally open controlled by the done bit of the last timer in a cascade placed in the series before the first timer if uh, we add the done bit of the last timer here as a nc uh, no type then we can go for the res uh, self resetting so as this uh, done bits going to activated then this can be again started so this can be completely looped so this is an another function of a timer so such different functions of a timer can be incorporated okay so basically i wanted to say here that uh, timer function which is a function again included in this software program of a plc uh, can be again uh, modified according to the time delay required in different uh, functions so it is a just uh, software function not a physical hardware which is which is to be required in to install in the automations uh, cycle but uh, again it has the uh, very different advantages over the other timers thank you